What's up, y'all? This your boy, Wavy Wayne. And today, we're going to talk about parallel compression. Now, this is a secret, so don't go telling everybody. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about parallel compression today. This is one of the little secrets of the industry right here. But, you know, it's a well-known secret. I'm going to share with you today how I like to use parallel compression, which is also known as upward compression or New York compression. The benefits of using parallel compression is that you get to keep your dynamics in the signal while also adding some of that oomph that the compressor gives you, right? Giving that extra body up in there, all right? So typically when you would use a compressor, you want to use it to restrict the dynamics. You want to clamp down on those peaks and make a more even overall signal. But with parallel compression, you get to keep those dynamics while still getting that lush richness that the compression will provide you. To do this, you want to duplicate the signal somehow and, one, and have one copy of the signal either lightly compressed or not compressed at all, while the other copy is going to be squashed to hell. All right, let's take a look at how I might apply this on this session. I got this track here. It's called Two Focus by Jones Boy, produced by Wishmaster. Shout out to y'all, all right? So I'm just going to give a little glimpse of the chorus here so you can hear what it sounds like before any parallel compression is applied. Y'all gonna have to follow Jones Boy to get the full track. I'll leave a link somewhere in the description. So, first thing first, in order to set up my parallel compression, again, there's a couple ways you can do this. One way when I'm working on a vocal like this is I'm gonna set this up as a send, all right? So I'm just gonna go right over to one of my sends, and Pro Tools uh, 10 and later has this really fast way of setting up your sends. So, of course, I'm gonna do this the fast way, baby, okay? The wavy way. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that send selector and choose to route out to a new track. Now, when you are using parallel compression, if your source track is mono, then keep the uh, the, the parallel compressed track mono too. That way you don't run into any phasing problems or the issues like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with a mono aux input track. And I'm just gonna name it P comp with a little baby R. <laughs> cool, so I got my parallel compressed track and a couple things that I want to do here. First thing first, with the send level that you're sending, let's set that to Unity Game right away. So I'm just going to hold the Option key and click on the Send Level Fader to set it to Unity Game. I also want to make sure that this send is going to be a pre-fader send. Again, once I got my squash copy of the signal, I'm going to use the track's faders to balance the level between the compressed and the uncompressed signals. Now, if I don't set this track, this send to a pre-fader send, then anytime I change the original track's uh, fader, if I change that fader, it's going to change the level going over into my compressor, which will ultimately change the amount of compression that I'm getting. I don't want to do that. So... I want to make sure that I set my send to pre-fader and that I set the uh, send level to unity gain. So I'm just getting that whole signal sent over there. And then on the parallel compressed track itself, this aux input track that I just created, I want to insert whatever my favorite compressor is. So, you know, or you can even use a limiter because if the point is to squash the hell out of this signal, squash it, all right? Squash it by any means necessary. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert... I like this one compressor called the Smack compressor. Uh, it adds a little bit of uh, extra uh, warmth and body to the to the to the track as well. This is actually an old Digi Design plugin um, from back in the day, right here. So I got the Smack compressor. I'm just gonna turn my ratio all the way up to Smack because I want to smack it. I'm telling you, this is what I want to do. I want to smack this. Any other compressor that you may use, just uh, work with a high ratio, seven to one, ten to one, uh, you know, somewhere around there. All right. And then I'm just going to turn my input up a little bit. And actually, let's go ahead and mute. I'm gonna mute the lead here so we can just listen to this compressed track. Oh, 
folk. Uh, all right. Now, if you heard that, you hear that that is squashed to hell. Hopefully, none of y'all compression on a daily sounds like that. <laughs> but since I'm using parallel compression, that's going to be all right. So I'm going to use that as my parallel compressed track there. So with that closed, I'm just going to go ahead and close that. And what I like to do, let me jump over to the mix window now. And here's those two tracks. All right. I'm going to unmute my lead. And then I'm going to bring the level of the parallel compressed track all the way down. And then as I'm mixing, as I'm listening to this, I'm going to slowly add some of this parallel compressed uh, track into the mix. And then when you find that sweet spot, just leave it. Typically, you're not gonna add a whole bunch of this parallel compressed track in, just a little bit, just enough to uh, give it a, that extra oomph that it needs, all right? So let's listen to this before and after. I'm just gonna play it, and then I'll add in the parallel compression. Let me move over to where he starts singing a little more. One more time in case you missed it. Cool. That helps me to get that extra body out of that track that I need. Super dope. Another way that you may attack parallel compression is, let's say I have uh, these ba these harmonies that I want to, if I want to add a little parallel compression to those for some reason. I'm not saying that I typically would or that I should in this case, but this is just the method that um, I would use. And this is the same method I would use if I had a drums and I wanted to uh, com parallel compress my drum bus, right? Same method I would do here. So I got my pre-harm, my pre-harmonies. Uh, let's see what's happening in those. Where are those even coming in at? But I can't make you Cool. So the way that I would attack this is simply duplicate this bus. I'm going to duplicate the whole track. Shift Option D on a Mac. Shift Alt D if you're on a PC. I always uncheck those three. Okay. Now I have two copies of the track here. Now what I'm going to do is simply I'm already using the smack on this track. On this second copy of this of the uh, uh, harmonies here of this pre hook, I'm going to smack it. I'm going to really compress it really hard. Okay. So I'm just turning that uh, ratio all the way up to smack, turning that input up a little bit. Let's uh, just listen to that. That's a little, a little much, a little much. All right, a little much. Cool. And then now again, I'm just going to back that signal down and blend it in. Wow, listen to the difference. Versus. Perlo compression works magic. One other little tip that I sometimes will do on a Perlo compressed track is use an EQ after that Perlo compression. So uh, let me go back over to the original track here. So one thing I'll do, let's say on this little lead here let me scroll back up to get where i was cool one thing i'll do is typically add a eq right after the compressor and let's just use that eq7 band and what i'll do is just grab the high shelf and give a nice little generous boost to the high shelf the high frequencies and then i'll do the same thing on the low end give a nice little generous boost to the low end that's really gonna help your drums the boom in the back of the drums but it also works for vocals too it's gonna help to give that a little more body a little more top end a little more low end who don't like top and bottom 
So, let's go ahead and listen to this with the difference. So, that's the Wavy Wayne tip of the day. Mix like a pro, use a little parallel compression when you want to get extra body out your signal while still keeping those dynamics, all right? As usual, be sure to like, comment, and uh, share this video. If you got any questions, leave them below, and I, you know I'm going to answer them, all right? So, y'all, be dope. Too focused, focus on you. Too focused.